Cora, something is left. Child, you don't have to yell, if we're right beside you. <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. In the last episode, we unfortunately discovered the truth about the cat, or at least part of the truth. The majority of them are actually kidnapped on Garens, and they were transformed into cats. And now, uh, we actually don't know what the whole purpose of them you know turning all the ungarin into cat my assumption was to keep uh the species alive but i feel like it could be something darker who knows but we'll find out what happens next okay so i did say in this episode that i wanted to catch up with all the squad members and kind of like start doing their loyalty missions uh, because we've got quite a number of, uh, members on here, and I want to make sure that I get to know everybody, uh, since I've only been focusing on Jal, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> because, Baker. Just because. The heck is happening? Lexi, PB wants to look at Jal's care. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. Okay. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. And like I said, they didn't know about anything like this because they haven't really experienced like the the Reapers and the Collectors. And it is I feel really bad for Jal because like this entire time, you know, can you imagine like you're wondering where all your missing friends are and the next thing you know, you're fighting them. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Interesting that PB's kind of like saying that because Thanks this entire chatting. time we'll she was kind of like, I'm just going to get what I want and leave. And it's interesting to see how she's changing just a little bit. Like, hey, wait, this isn't right. Maybe I can help. I actually like that. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. Interesting. Me. So also, their technology is still advanced regardless of, like, what we think. Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few. But oh. that's better than none. Yeah! Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know we where should, the Ark is. We should speak with them. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. You seem to idolize her. Well, like the way she's fan. speaking. No, I... I just like... <laughs> Look, we need someone with her experience. That's all. No, that's smart. I agree. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Of course, Cora. Okay, so wait, let me take a look at the journal. Um, not the priority stuff. This stuff. Okay, you know what? I want to start with Drax's uh, loyalty mission first because I think this is one very interesting. So we're going to go back on the Nexus. So like he said, uh, a lot of Krogans were kicked out and he, he knew it was like a setup. So let's figure out what's going on. I just really like Drax. I think he's an amazing character, so I want to do his first. Kind of want to save Jal for a little bit later because I'm planning on romancing him, so... Callow, settle down. If this isn't what? a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? No. Why would I fight with my best friend? Aww! Best <laughs> Aww, Callow. This is cute. Callow's very excited about a report I received from Eos. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily Finally, dropping. Finally! That's great! Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we have so much to do. Is there a rush? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. <laughs> so, radiation levels are down. More to explore? Yes, but there's been a rise. Maybe in I can get that memory well. too. Figures oh, that we're not wow. the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost. We'll like go. A we'll go. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. 
That's actually really cute that Kalo called uh, Subi his best friend. Because I know in, like, Solarian nature, they're they're not exactly, like, the friendliest. I mean, like, Morden was friendly, but he was he's, his not way really of being friendly is different. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop making frivolous requests. You saw what happened it's to the Krogan? It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at... Frivolous. You'll just have to make do. We can't fix the station breathing bad air. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. The hell? What do you want? Uh, that doesn't look like fun. Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. No, it's okay. The way Spender treats me. Wait, I don't everyone, think we've seen a I'm female, just, um... I'm so angry. Um... I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. Solarian, have we? Okay, well, I've heard things about him, like uh, Drax was mentioning. Um, he always like that? He was pretty abusive towards you. Is that normal? Yes, he's horrible. Working with him is a total nightmare. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. I wonder it's if this dude's like working that. for somebody. Making That's bad the reason decisions, why. driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. How can I help? Maybe there's something I can do. A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. All right, let's speak to the granddaughter and see what we can find out. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Tijak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. Hmm. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. Oh. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Okay. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kandros. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. That may be not be a problem because Kandros more does seem he's like neutral Later. on everything. So I feel like if we just tell him the truth, he wouldn't argue about it. So that's what the kid are up to. Transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taken anymore. Hey, buddy. Um, I just need to see some security footage. Could you help me out? I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but... You know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security... Yeah, I knew I could trust this dude. Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at the videos and see what Tracking we can see. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait. Is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you. Don't I am sorry, mm. Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. That's suspicious! Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. I do hmm. not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Damn. Ryder, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running colonial affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does oh. all the real work. Oh, so you're the assistant. Real work or dirty work? 
From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off. What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Oh, bitch, don't even. Don't even try me. When we find the planet, your ass is dead. Okay, so we can't continue on with Drax's mission. So that's good enough. We got we got at least that much. So whenever we find the planet, Sam will notify us, and then we can figure out what's going on. All right, I want to go meet up with Gil because he did say he wants to hang out, and I don't mind hanging out with him because we got to get to know our squad members. This is very important. The Vortex. Is this like a club? <gasps> it is a club! Cool! Hey, Gil, you in here? Where is my man? <gasps> Liam's here, too! Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleepers ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? It's a new beginning. That's what we're ke keeping for. That's the theme of this, and I want to keep it that way. I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing a new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? Exactly, you manifest it. That's exactly what it is. Hey, Gil! So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Should I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Should I? I don't want to cheat. I'm trying to make friends with Gil. No, no, no. It's okay. Don't. All right. You can deal first. <laughs> Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know. Jill and Gil. Is Jill a masochist? Is she the one who's here? Is she a masochist? She must be a glutton for punishment. That's her. That's how I know she'll always be there. Jill's a fertility expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Um, I understand, like, the logistics of it, but it is kind of rude considering Gil is gay, you know what I mean? Like, that's such a rude thing to say to your friend, even if you are joking. But I don't know, maybe G G Gil can handle that kind of humor because people are different. I don't know Gil that well. I don't want to say, I, I don't want to say that repopulation isn't important. It is, especially since we're not in the Milky Way anymore. But like, there, you could say it. Uh, you know, in other terms, you don't have to say, yo, go get a girl pregnant or something. Like, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know. Isn't that kind of hurtful? Uh, sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me okay. unconditionally. We just Yeah, so that's what I mean. I don't know how he, he handles that kind of stuff. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, uh, I fold. Another one for me, then. <laughs> well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? I'll get you next time, Gil. Revenge will be mine. Someday, maybe. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Bye, Gil. <laughs> Okay, it was nice talking with him. See, that's what I mean. I, I, I want to get to know the squad members. It's very important. All right, I'm going to do Korra's uh, mission next because I do want to go to Eos anyway because we need to check out the planet and how it's doing. Vetra was looking for you. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'll go speak to her. Lexi, your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. <laughs> Why is we to ruin each other? He's old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah, the Ketter using some Angaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd. Well, imagine if it was Scott. I'd be devastated. 
Her Don't brother, only do. family left. We're all that's left of our family. Mm -hmm. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. That must have been tough. I don't want to be like, I lost my parents too. Like, you understand. You sympathize. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Hey, oh, I almost clicked that. Oh, uh, uh, you're too tough for that. I'll make sure you're fine. You're pretty far from home. Let me just, I can't, oh my God, I really want to flirt with her, but no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Jal this time. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. Yeah. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Okay. Good talking with you. And I gotta, I gotta go find Drax too. Is Liam in here or is he like, nah. I still can't believe that man got that crusty ass couch and was like, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> How are you feeling, Moshe Isefa? Weak, but I'll bounce back. I always have. Can I talk to her now? Open each limb twice. You have to do more than wipe my immune system to take me down. <laughs> well, you and my mom would love each other. You still have questions. I'll try to answer them. Okay, let's start. So, exaltation is how the Ket reproduce. How did you learn that? They're proud of it. They welcomed us and spoke of it openly. We were becoming them. To the Ket, all other life is inferior. Even, I suspect, humans. How does it work? They're going to a lot of trouble just to make baby Ket. I guess it's also a way for them to control their evolution. I guess they so. They incorporate only traits they value, and unique adaptations they don't possess. So what are the chances the Ket have exalted other intelligent species? Somewhere. I'd say those chances are excellent. I can't help but wonder if, you know, all the missing arcs that we have been looking for, what if the cat got them and just changed all of them into cat? That's kind of what I'm thinking. The Cardinal said she had the Archon's DNA. So was the Cardinal exalted too? From what they described, I think they can be exalted multiple times. They strive always to be greater. Hmm. And the Archon's DNA somehow plays a role in all of it. It looked like some of your people wanted this cat gift. They walked right into those pods. I think they were hypnotized. As did I. Voluntarily. Happily. But that is part of the process. Part of the preparation, they called it purification, stripped our systems of all defenses. It was very painful. But after the pain came a beautiful peace, like a trance, like a transcendence itself. I willingly walked into that pod, and I cannot fault anyone else who did the same. Hmm. Sam downloaded what he could from the facility. We'll be studying exaltation for quite a while. What was happening in that facility? It felt like a religion or a cult. Perhaps, but not to them. They honestly believe they are giving us a gift. Yeah, because they're like the a cult. <laughs> seemed desperate to keep that place standing. The entire facility seemed dedicated to one thing. Exaltation. That's why I asked you to destroy it. I, I understand. I understand, I but I feel like we need these still people. Burn it to the ground. But I suspect the Ket have already re-engineered that shield. Because it's like what Jal was saying. If all their... If it's just us, the humans, we don't have our full strength. Same with the Krogans, they're missing. Asari are still missing. Turians are still missing. Like, all the Arcs are still missing. How can we fight them? We only have the Ungarin and they need their people. How it's not like we can wait facility? for them to, like, Days? you know, have more scientists After and whatever. After the Archon decided I would be exalted, I was sent to the facility alone. I was housed with prisoners who described how they were kidnapped, 
taken to holding camps, analyzed and separated. Analyzed? Until now, we never understood why some of us were sent to slave camps and others just vanished. The Archon chose to exalt me to use me for my knowledge. Perhaps others were chosen for their genetics. Yeah, they nitpick what they the want, chosen. right? I'm only theorizing. I am a scientist, after all. No, that kind of makes I'll sense. I'll let you rest. Wait, one more thing. I spoke to a guard, a former resistance fighter who remembered me. It described everything about its past, our past, with no trace of emotion. It seems that victims retain memories of who they were, but after being exalted, they live only to serve the king. Huh. Really? Does your species dream? Sometimes. A cat remembers being Angara. Like a dream it's eager to forget, which is beyond comprehension. Ishare Pathfinder. I'm sure we'll talk again. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. It's definitely a threat. He's definitely dangerous. We can't underestimate so him. We don't know what he's doing I'm not sure yet. We're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him, you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. I do agree with that Honestly, method, drop yes. Drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to. Take the collateral <laughs> damage. Um. Um. See, here's the thing. Don't want to kill innocent people, but I know what's going to happen regardless because he does have a point. If we were to take out the leader, then it will stop immediately. That's kind of how I thought when I was playing a shepherd with, with the Reapers. There had to be some sacrifices in order to continue on. So I understand that. But it's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit different this time around because let's say it's our people that we're sacrificing. We can't just do that since a lot of us are stranded here. It's not like back in the Milky Way. It's fine because there's more people. It's easier to repopulate, easier to find a home, build a home, all these things. Here, we don't have anything yet. So I can't just say like, let's just like screw it and put everything 100% to like attacking the guy because i feel like it's not gonna it's not gonna work out in our favor it's much more delicate this time around when you don't have the resources or the manpower to like do what you want to do there's better ways to stop him than brute force maybe but i'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to but i understand where so where drac is coming from kill. honestly i really do. don't mess around with this kind of thing ends badly each and every time another galaxy and there are still despots we saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. I think ours is the element of surprise because he doesn't know who we are. Because even when he was speaking with us, he's just like, who the heck are the, you people? You don't understand anything. That's our element of surprise. It's just us in general. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down... Let's make sure he stays down. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. You okay? Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... Huh? What? Do you have an allergy have or something? Have you ever heard of the lick test? No? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to oh. tell from fossils and get Girl, a basic what are you idea licking? of composition. Girl, what are you licking though? <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. 
<laughs> when I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? Yes. Ooh, it's hard to talk about her. No, no, I want to learn more about the mom. She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. Of course they're proud of you. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. I needed that. Anytime. It's, it's interesting to see how everyone is like dealing with grieving their families back home. Um, because obviously everybody's like treating it differently how they left. I just, I just love that everyone has like a variety of like how Sam's they feel. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. We could use a lake. Everyone's pitching in. Um... Let's say this. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. I don't think we can co coexist with that thing, so I kind of agree with him. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. Anyway, let's head over back to Eos and check the planet since the radiation's gone down, but also because I want to, um... Do chorus mission about the Asari arcs. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. Okay, so it's not completely gone. That's okay, as long and as it's working. remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Perfect. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. You can see all of Prodromos from up here. Won't be long before we build cities. <laughs> Rare to see a real beginning. Inspiring. Aww. Alright, we're here. Sorry, I had to take like a shortcut by just jumping off a cliff. But, let's see what we can find out about the Asari arc, because this is exciting. We haven't heard anything from anyone else yet. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human okay. pathfinder. Okay, what a way to introduce Lieutenant yourself! Arthur. We're looking for the Asari arc. So am I. Watching the skies every day. Praying they survived the cat. Um, sounds like a lucky escapes. I suspect the cat. The evidence pointed to the cat being involved. The way pain is involved when you get burned. What happened? The cat chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. And the Ark was our defenseless list. I can't say why were they hunting. They probably just wanted them for their DNA if we learned anything from, um, what's her name? Uh, from the Angarn we save, right? None of the Arks are armed. I don't like those odds. They kept shooting to slow us down. 
peeled one deck like an orange. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Okay. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Parafona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's... Good to see the Ket aren't the only ones winning. All right. Aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. I feel for Jal. That's what Jal faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal. And worse to what that we just learned them. that they still keep You're their memories, but they, they're this. still controlled. strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Damn, you don't need his take. Uh, I imagine Alec would have a lot to say because he is a very smart man, so. If his experience fell through, he always had smarts to fall back on. And now, Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. Plans wouldn't help, it's a mess. I mean, you can't- you, you can plan as much as you want, but you can't plan for the unthinkable, you know what I mean? That's basically what this entire initiative has been- everything has been so unthinkable. <laughs> We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the cat. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. We gotta leave at least. It'll be good to have certainty again. All right, so we're gonna take up on that lead and figure out what's going on because it is important. We ha we have to get allies. It's we're basically going into this completely blind, and it's really bad. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Subi. Oh, drama. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be the Pathfinder who saved the most. I didn't mean to go here I'm because of this. Dozil. Wait, what? <laughs> Commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally um, of the Angara. Thank you. I appreciate the warm welcome. Ha, <laughs> 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 get it. To break the ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get it. I love that Ryder and me have the same Thanks. energy. <laughs> Ryder? No. <laughs> Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. Yeah, we should help. We gotta be allies. That's why I came. Not because I'm romancing one of your people, but you, you know. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Do you Before have like you a go, vehicle I can, can borrow? Us. Because I really need one. How are you holding up against the cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? <laughs> if the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. Would they listen to me? I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. That for He's sure I can understand. So many of us. And you're the hero who saved our Moshai. That carries weight. Well, thanks, Jarl. Um, yeah, I'll help. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude. Both of you. How long has the resistance been around? 
Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Mm -hmm. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That is a good thing. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay, well, I didn't mean to, like, do that. It's not that I don't want to help. It's just, how do we get to the other side is my question. Me. Hang on a second. Wait, where exactly is this? God damn! I thought it was through the tunnels, it's all the way over there. How are we supposed to make it? Wait. Do you guys even have like, heaters set up down there? What the fuck are we supposed to do? I don't want to die. Okay, let's see if we can find something. There has to be a way to get over there. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Ah, oh, thank God. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Yes! Thank you! I knew it! I'm like, we can't just drive or walk around here. That's impossible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, give me the freaking Nomad. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. Oh shit, there is a base According there. to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Volt. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I don't expect I it to be. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. What about the Angara, the resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, okay. Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. Great. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. So don't leave the Nomad unless Got we it. absolutely don't have to. Don't crash the car. <laughs> yeah, that too. Remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. So much we gotta do on this All right. planet. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna do first Korra's mission uh, with the Asari, and then we'll we'll continue on with everything else because I, I think I think it's all important. We need to get the show on the road. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're gonna have. Wow, this place is huge. We're gonna have to get there eventually. Thank goodness they got this for us. I think we would have died if we didn't have the Nomad. Honestly. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder. Trust me. Please be careful, Ryder. <laughs> I like how they're both, please don't crash the car. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh! It's fine, this is fine. Wow, I can't see anything. Oh, here we go. Turn on the lights. Jesus. Temperature's back to normal. <laughs> I think the game crashed. Whoa! Thank Shit! Up. Let's get out of here. Should I just make a jump for it? Fuck it. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's a lot of cat in the area, which is not a good thing either. Whoa, it's like completely iced over. That's cool. Like this planet is beautiful. Get big camp. Be careful, Ryder. God damn it. I do wonder what well, Vlad, like, uh, Vlad looked like before it like froze over. It must have looked completely different than this, you know? You and Ryder move in the open very freely. We have to. We're here to explore. Hmm. It's only strange after years of keeping our heads down against 
Yeah, I imagine it would be weird. I didn't mean to cut him off. The hell? Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari survey vessel, Periphona. That's the ship Hadaria mentioned. We might be close. Don't worry, Cora. We'll get to them. Oh, shit. Hopefully in one piece, though. <laughs> you are in excellent physical condition, Cora. Better than anyone on the squad. <sighs> Thanks. Didn't realize you were paying attention. Excuse the me. Once what? The mind. Want. Sir, are you flirting? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? And I'm trying to flirt with you, and you want res I'm I'm offended. Damn. So he's into fit girls. Shit. I gotta get. I gotta get buff fast. <laughs> I thought this would be the periphona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. So we're gonna have to go to one of these points on the map. Oh my god! How far away are all this? Jesus Christ, they're so far away. Cool, I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do to get all to those points, I think I gotta get all the Nomad, like, um, transponder thingies so I can fast travel. I think it'll be a lot easier to get around instead of me struggling to get all to the freaking points. All right, so since this is the closest one, we'll go here next. And, oh god, I'm hoping that it's- I can't believe there's four of them, dude. What the hell? But I also hey, like Ryder, listening to up. Jal Wouldn't talk about stretching my legs. I agree. Stop, hop out, run in a circle, and get back in. <laughs> no? Well, fine. <laughs> I have a huge task. To responsibly settle all your people in Helios. It seems incredible, sometimes. The idea of making places to live, even though we've already done it. There's so much hope riding on us. A lot of pressure. Speaking for the resistance. I know what that's like. Yeah, I imagine Jal does because they're just trying to survive too. It's not we're not the only ones. We're getting a little too close to the cat base, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little unsettling. <laughs> Still getting the periphona signal. Wonder why she's on the ground. Damn it. I thought it was like pieces of it. Okay, so that wasn't it. So we got two more over here. Cora, this talent you and PB have. Biotics? Hmm. What does it feel like? Does it hurt? When you really let loose, it's like a massive, deadly sneeze. Oh, amazing. What's a sneeze? <laughs> Wait, it's interesting that they're not asking Ryder about her biotics, because, like, we got some too, you know? <laughs> Another false reading. Damn it! Must be closing in. Sorry, how many? Eight brothers and sisters. Almost four times as many cousins. My mothers. A lot of voices with opinions on what to do or to be. No kidding. How do you handle that? Honestly... Not well. Hmm. I imagine he, he would have a lot of like opinions about his life, and like I guess that's kind of why. Remember when Jal told us he, he's still trying to figure out who he wants to be? Maybe that's like partially why he doesn't know yet is because he's pretty confused. sure the AI rulebook doesn't insist the Pathfinder always gets to drive. Yeah, well I'm driving this time, Cora. What the hell is that over? Oh shit. This is the source of the periphone signal. Oh god. And there's Ket on sight. Fuck! Let's clear them out. Alright, time to battle, guys. Take them down hard! Don't you worry! Because like our life support is going ah, it's going down, dude. Hang on, let me like heal up first. Damn, why is there so many of them? Fuck. Take it nice and easy, ladies and gentlemen. 
Damn, that guy got- that guy's a sn- Oh! Okay, no, that's you. <laughs> that guy's a sniper, though. Let me see if I can take that guy out. Hang on a second. Oh, shit! That dude. Heal up. Well executed. Thank you. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Only a few left. My aim is ass. You guys get that guy. This one's mine. Where's the other dude? Oh, there he is. This one's mine. Come on, come on over your hiding. Go get him, Joel! Get him, Joel! There you go. Jesus. Okay, we gotta do this quick. Took one out. Clear. I gotta do it quick, quick, quickly, quickly. Come on, there has to be something. Tactic four. Come on, there has to be something. This is it. That's the Periphona, all right. What's left of her? Shit. Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. Damn it. But we don't understand what happened yet. Without the crew, we've lost our best lead to the Asari Ark. But this is stupid. If they want Asari for exaltation, why not take the crew alive? That's actually a good point. Why would they just leave them out in the open like that? The only thing I can think of is if it's a target. They don't- I don't- it, it, The cat don't seem to work out of just like violence just because. They, they have a reason, right? Their mentality is like a cult mentality. So they would have to have a reason for doing this. It's like they saw the Periphona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a cat cruiser. Ryder, Cora, something is left. Jal, you don't have to yell, we're right beside you. <laughs> it's in bad shape, but let's see what- Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. The data copy's lost. Forgive us. We tried- The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Well, it's lead. Any way we could use that or the flight recorder to find the Ark. If the nav record survived, we could trace the Periphona's flight path. Might lead us to them. I can't assist. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. Alright, so we gotta wait for Kord to decipher that. I guess this is a good time to get the hell out of here then. Since I'm here, I'm gonna grab all the, the memory triggers that I can. And then we'll head back. Uh, to the Hyperion so we can actually listen to the memories that we got from Eos too. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. 
That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um, <laughs> Why is he telling jokes? <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? <laughs> That's kind of cute. But yeah, he obsessed over fixing Sam, not only because of like what kind of technology it is, that it's the same so period. Real. So real. Sam's right there. Yeah. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Dad needed to hear it? Yeah, I think I think maybe the reason why she said that to him is because his obsession is driving him further from like what he needs to do and also for away from their kids. So she's like, it's not worth it in the end. So I think that's why she needed to give him a reality check. But dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even mm. though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Thank you. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Play it. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... This is uh, awkward. You're both looking... taller. <laughs> yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. <laughs> Right, right, I know. So, uh... Um, oh my god, they're so awkward! I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still Look leaving. how excited she sounds! Oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon really scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Aw, that's kinda cute. That's why I still think like they still admired their dad regardless of like what even what Scott was saying in his coma. I still think that they loved him. I remember him a lot. that. Mom complained the writer clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. <laughs> Life's hectic. People get busy. Scott and I were trying to start our lives. A course that seems to have been influenced by your father. Yeah, good or bad, your parents were buff on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Okay, we can go into uh, Dad's room and like check out the other memories. But yeah, I, I'm gonna try my best to get all the memories on the new planets. Um, Cause it's, it's interesting learning about them, you know? Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. 
So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. <laughs> anyway, the right type so of implant mom had one joined too. with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> as a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. I think, um... Alec is trying to understand because of Sam, too, so... Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had. Wait, I'm what Shadow Broker is this? Liara, or what? It's <laughs> artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Yeah, is that is that supposed to be Liara? I don't actually know, or is that the original Shadow Broker? <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Sorry nothing really exciting happened, but at least we were forming relationships with everyone, and more importantly, we found a lead on the Asari arc, so hopefully Korra will find out what's going on, and we can continue that mission. I do want to do Jal's uh, mission as well, because it seems like everything's getting on hold until I continue on with the main storyline, which is completely fine. So I'll start up with Jal's next, and I guess Liam as well and PB. We got three other uh, squad members that we can do with that on. So I, I like learning about the each of the squad members and I'm really, really looking forward to helping out Jal because, you know, romance time. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, remember to leave a like, please let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Mass Effect Andromeda. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!